There is outrage in California this morning over the response to a recent police shooting. Prosecutors announced they will not charge an officer firing, for firing at a man escaping from a wreck, a, wreck, a wreck SUV. The shooting victim faces serious criminal charges. Vladimir Dutier of our digital network CBSN shows us why. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. The officer followed the driver after noticing him speed out of a parking lot with his headlights off. What followed left one person dead, another possibly paralyzed, and an officer in the crosshairs of an angry community. We warn you, the video you're about to see is disturbing. Dash cam footage from the November 25th incident shows the driver, 26-year-old Andrew Thomas, crashing his SUV. His wife is ejected from the window and died at the scene. Officer Patrick Feaster walks towards the car and fires one shot, hitting Thomas in the neck as he attempted to get out through the window. 25 seconds later, Officer Feaster describes Thomas as being uncooperative. I've got an unresponsive female. I've got a male in the car refusing to get out. Thomas had a blood alcohol level nearly twice the legal limit. He's facing vehicular manslaughter charges in his wife's death and may be paralyzed from the waist down. But hundreds of protesters in the city of Paradise, California, are calling for Officer Feaster to be removed from the force. They're outraged he won't be facing criminal charges. Cops pulling guns on people when, when it's in a car accident, that's insane. There's something wrong with that call. He's crazy. Prosecutors call the shooting an accident, saying Feaster did not intentionally fire his pistol, and that he was in shock at the scene and not certain his weapon had actually discharged. But they have no explanation for why it took Feaster 11 minutes to report that he had fired his gun. The 11 minutes of waiting to notify is awful. Regardless, can we prove a case of intentional discharge of that weapon beyond a reasonable doubt? We could not. Feaster has been with the Paradise Police since 2010. He may still face some punishment from an internal investigation that is ongoing, Gail. Thank you very much, Vlad.